Hello, Danny Crane, and welcome back to TIS 100. Today we're going to look at the image console, specifically the image test patterns number one and two, uh, and I'll give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to use the image uh, console thing. So what is it? It is basically a block you get to draw in. Uh, so you can see we have this blank block right here, and uh, what we have to do is fill it with the designated pattern. So on this one here, it just wants us to completely fill the block with white. Um, how do you do that? Well, to do that, I'm actually gonna show you on the image console sandbox. It's a little bit easier to show it here. So what I did is I made a quick little program that'll just take whatever I enter in the command line down here and send it right out to the console. Now this one works a little bit differently. It's a bigger uh, box to work with than the one you get in the regular tests, but for explanations it'll work just fine. Uh, so how does this work? Well, you send numbers to the console. Um, you have to send it in a very specific pattern. You have the first number you send is going to tell the cursor where to go in the x-axis, which is going to be your left to right going over here. Um, the second number that you send will tell the cursor where to go in the y-axis going up and down. After that, Every number you send from zero to four will output a color on that line uh, starting where you told it and it will continue just going down until it reaches the end of the box. Uh, now what colors can you send? Well, if I send, let me go ahead and run this here. If I send, uh, let's start at the very top. So we'll send a zero and a zero. So that'll put the cursor right up here on the top. And then if I send a zero, you'll see nothing happens. Zero is black. Um, if I send a one now, though, you should see, there we go, a dark gray in the second spot. And that's because I didn't tell the cursor to stop going down this road. It's kind of like a typewriter. Um, so if I send another one, it'll do another black or dark gray pixel uh, in the next spot after it. Uh, if I were to send a two, I get a light gray. Uh, a three gives us white and a four gives us red. Now, what you can do is send a minus one, uh, which I don't think I can do on this, uh, and that will uh, end the the string, basically. I actually, I can do it, I'm sorry, I forgot. Enter on this sends a minus one. Uh, so now if I were to say do, um, let's say I wanted to go two lines down from this and start at the very bottom, uh, or start two lines down, I could send a uh, zero to start it on the first column here and then I want to go down to two and we'll go ahead and send some white and you can see now I'm two down and send it out and if I hit enter it stops that one. So that's how you kind of send the numbers down to get the things that you want. Well how does that work with the puzzle? Well, we'll go to the image test pattern here, and what it wants us to do is fill this completely up with white. Uh, now, like I said, this is a little bit of a smaller box than the previous one. Going across this way, there are 30 pixels that you can command. So it starts with 0, 0 up in the top here, going all the way to 0, uh, 29 over here. And then we can go from 0 down to 17. There's 18 lines uh, going this way. Uh, so if we sent a 17, uh, zero, or zero 017, it would start the cursor right down here. So what we're going to want to do is in this one here, we're going to send our code down to the image right through this one here. And the first thing we're going to want to send is we're going to want to send the X coordinate for where we want the cursor to go, which is going to be zero for the first block. We want to start on the very top up here. So we're going to start with our start. And then we're going just to move, oops, move zero down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, Y coordinate. And we're actually going to use this node here to handle the Y coordinate. So on this node, what we're going to have it do is um, we're going to have it move the ACC, the accumulated value, to the right, which starts off at zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add one to that. Uh, so it's going to send the zero over here, it's going to send that on to the image uh, buffer, and then it's going to add one to that, and it's just going to continue. So that way we'll get all the way down to 17 at the very end. So then what we're going to do is we're going to move that left value on down to the image buffer. And then we're going to start with uh, our 
kind of timing circuit. Uh, we need to tell this block how many times we want it to send uh, the number three, because that number three will give us white. And going across, there's 30 blocks, so we want to move 30 into the accumulator. And then we're going to start our little loop. Uh, so we're going to start with the A bookmark here. And the first part of the loop, oops, is going to be uh, we're going to move three down. So that'll give us uh, our first block here will become white. And then we're going to subtract one. And that's going to subtract it from our time that we set up here of 30. Then we're going to check if that equals zero. So what we want to do is jump if it's not equal to zero to A. So that way it'll jump back up and just continue again. So it's going to start at 30 in the accumulated uh, value. It's going to send a three subtract that down to 29 and then jump back up send another three and continue till it gets to zero once it gets to zero we're going to move a minus one down and what that does is when you send minus one it's just like hitting the enter key on the uh, the image console sandbox it's going to end that line basically so it's going to let us then uh, move all move along to the next thing and that's it uh, once it hits the minus one it's going to jump back up to the start it's going to move the cursor back to the first position but it's going to then move the Y position to whatever this accumulated value became so if I click run here oops I forgot to uh, write the down command there there we go now it should run there we go. And you see it gets to 30, and then it jumps down to the next one, and this will just keep going up. I can make it go fast, and there we go. So kind of just a tutorial mission for the image console. Uh, we'll go back to the segment list and look at the image test pattern two. This one's pretty much the same thing. It still wants us to fill the entire thing up, but now it has us alternating between white and black. And we can actually cheat here. Um, if I go back to my previous test pattern here, we'll click in on it, and we'll copy this bit of code, because we're actually going to use reuse this again. Uh, but we are going to change it a little bit. So we're going to copy that with Control-C. And we'll just go ahead and go back to the segment list and back into the puzzle. And this one is going to get the exact same thing for the most part. We're going to modify it just a little bit. Uh, over here, we're also going to do the same thing. So we're going to have it move the accumulated value to the left and then subtract or add one. Oops. Just like that. Um, now where this is gonna change is we don't want to send three all the time. We want it to send a three and then a zero and then a three and then a zero and a three and a zero and so on until it gets to the end. And then when it loops back around, it's gonna switch back and it's gonna do a zero first and then a three. Um, so what we're gonna wanna do is in this uh, node here we're going to start with our start command just like normal and we're going to move zero oh nope 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 we're going to move 15 to the accumulator so and the reason we're doing that is we're going to use that for timing uh how many times we've sent our numbers and we're going to send them in pairs so we're going to send a three and then a zero and then we're going to send uh, a subtract command to this to subtract it so 15 times 2 that's going to give us 30 so that'll fill up the entire line so then what we're going to do is we're going to start with our a bookmark on this one we're going to move 3 to the left and in order to accept that we're going to have to change this to move the right to the down then what we're going to do we're going to move a 0 to the left and then we're going to subtract one. Then we're going to check to see if our time is up, if we've sent it 15 times or not. So we're going to do again a jump if it's not equal to zero. Up if I'm on a new line here. Jump if it's not equal to zero back to A. Um, and then if, so what that'll do, we get a 15 up here. It's going to move a three and then a zero and then subtract from that. And then once it hits zero, uh, it's going to ignore this jump command and move on to the next set, which is going to be kind of the same thing just in reverse. So we're going to start again by moving 15 to the accumulator. And then we're going to start our B bookmark right here. And this one's going to be the same thing as before, but instead we're going to do move 0 to the left. And then we're going to move a 3 to the left. 
subtract 1, and then check again if it is equal to 0. And if it's not, well, if it is, we're going to jump back up to B. And if it's not, we're going to have it loop back around and start over again. And that should be it. If we click Run here, oh, stop, stop, stop. I need to move uh, this one. I did left. I needed to do right. All right. But everybody was screaming at that one. All right, there we go. So now you can see it's giving us our alternating pattern back and forth. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do for this one. So we'll go ahead and fast forward there. And there you go. Not too bad. Return to the segment list. Okay, so that takes care of the image console tutorial uh, with the first two puzzles. The next couple ones get a little bit more complicated. I actually haven't finished them yet. Uh, this one has us read a X and a Y value in, uh, and then it'll tell us, so that tells us where the block starts. It tells us how wide it is and how high it is, and we've got to draw in that. Uh, the other one that you have to deal with is this one right here where you get a value in and that's how many high you have to draw that line in that Y column and then continue on so I'll figure those out and post a video when I do uh, but otherwise I uh, hope that helped and I'll see you next time